What's up, everybody? It's Pal Town Smeargle, and today I've got um, some showdown battles for you. We're going to be doing the RU tier. Uh, that is the rarely used tier. Um, it's a this is a tier that I haven't done in quite some time, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, and I'm going to pause for just a second because I need to fix the lighting. Much better. Okay, so as I said, RU tier, and as you can see on our screen. We have a Jolteon, Ambipom, uh, Volturn Core, and a Alamalola and a Moongus Regenerator Core, with two heavy hitters being Choice Scarf Tyrantrum and Mega Steelix. So, we're going to jump in with this team. Uh, this, we're just going to be starting up these battles here on the channel. I'm really, really excited, really, really excited, guys, to be back here and battling as we find our um, opponent here. Um, Mr. Steve Ketchum is rocking with an up. Ambipom, Kofagrigus, Registeel, Flygon, Braviary, and assumably Mega Glalie. Um, I think looking at our opponent's team, Flygon's the only thing that he has that can counter a Jolteon lead. Uh, there's a Choice Specs Jolteon with um, Bolt Switch, T-Bolt, Shadow Ball, and HP Ice, which will do some work if he decides to lead with that Flygon, which he does not. Um, I'm going to assume the Fake Out here from the Ambipom, um, but just in case he does Hard Switch into the Flygon, I'm going to go ahead and HP Ice, um, because you never know what can happen here. We do see the fake out for a lot. Okay. Now, don't think HP Ice will bring this thing down. And I don't really want to take a knockoff or a double hit, so I think I might just go out to my Steelix here um, for resistant hits. Knockoff, that's just what I thought. Um. So I'm going to go ahead, he doesn't seem like he has a rapid spin or anything, so I'm going to go ahead and actually put up some rocks, because this does look like a little bit of a U-turn a team here with the Ambipom, Braviary, and Flygon. As he does go for the U-turn, um, I'd be very interested to see what he comes out with. I would say probably the Flygon here to try to hit us with an Earthquake. Um, and if that is the case, that is going to be a little tough to counter, but I can just go out to Alamo, Alamolola, which should eat that hit up relatively well, I hope. Um, and he goes up to the Kofagrigus, it's just, interestingly enough, probably going to try to Will-O-Wisp us here. Um, trying to think of anybody on the team that could take a Will-O-Wisp and not really care about it um, would probably be a Lomolola or a Moongus because they do have Regenerator so they can switch back and forth. I'm going to go out to a Moongus here because if he does um, Will-O-Wisp us, we would be in a good position to use Spore next turn. As he does go for the Will-O-Wisp like I predicted to burn us, that does kind of stink, but Black Sludge here should, uh, when it goes off at the end of this turn, kind of mitigate some of that. Um, unless he does go for the knockoff, in which case we would be in a bit of trouble, but I am gonna, you're gonna see my mouse here, I'm gonna check speeds. We should outspeed this thing and be able to put it to sleep. Um, unless he's running some sort of speed investment. Okay, it is nice and put to sleep here, which, um... Which means I should be able to switch right out into Jolteon and hit this thing with a Shadow Ball. Um, presumably, uh, if he does get first turn wake up, then good for him, uh, you know, but I think I should get a nice switch out into Jolteon here, uh, to hit, try to hit this thing with a Shadow Ball, which would be good, because the only thing that w won't like to take a Shadow Ball would probably be that, well, be the Braviary, um, so he goes out into the Registeel, which is just fine with me, um, I am going to click Volt Switch here just to get out. Uh, if he does predict that and go into the... Okay, he doesn't predict that and go into the uh, Flygon like I had predicted uh, that he would. That's something I would have done there. Uh, let's see. I think the best course of action would just be to go out to our Steelix. Because um, we can rock out pretty hard with Earthquake against this thing. Toxic. And we are immune, so that was nice uh, to be able to eat that up. I'm... 
I'm gonna go for the Earthquake if he switches into the Flygon or the Braviary and wastes our move good for him. Um, which he could, but I don't see that happening. Out to the Cofagrigus. Takes the Earthquake not very well, I would say. Um, and I'm gonna go for the Heavy Slam here because we should do serious amount of damage. Yeah, our Sheer Force or Sand Force is gonna get turned to Mummy, but that does not really matter because we don't have Sand Storm up here. Um, and we're gonna do a huge chunk of damage as he wakes up and goes for the Will-O-Wisp, which misses, which really, really does help. And I'm gonna go for another Heavy Slam here because the only thing on his team that wants to take that is probably gonna be that Reggie Steel. All right, Kofagrigus is down and out. Uh, be interested to see what he goes out into here. My bet, I would maybe think we're going to see the Glalie um, or the Flygon. Those would be the two things I would go out to here. Uh, Flygon, obviously, for that Earthquake, um, which would do huge amounts of damage to a lot of our team. I'm just realizing we don't have a very good counter to uh, Ground-type moves. Uh, we actually have three Pokemon on our team weak to it. So, eh, probably not the best on the team building part there for me, but, uh... Well, Flygon is RU? That's interesting. I always thought he was UU. Well, maybe the, there were recent changes that I'm not aware of. Um... Our opponent's taking a little bit of time to make their move. If they take another, a little bit longer here, we might have a quick cut uh, to our opponent's turn, so we'll just have to wait and see here. Okay, we're back in. Our opponent has sent out the Flygon, which... Hmm. To me, I'm gonna go out to my Alomalola to take the impending Earthquake here, because this thing... Usually these things are either Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf, so if we can get this thing into Earthquake, I can fire off a relatively free Ice Beam. And we'll just see what happens here. In comes the Earthquake, does a pretty respectable amount um, and I'm going to fire off an Ice Beam here and see what happens. Uh, he probably would switch. Um, I would not be surprised to see a switch into the Registeel here, uh, just to try to Toxic us, um, because um, Alomalola is a pretty difficult wall to overcome. Out comes the Glalie, so it's going to take this Ice Beam pretty dang well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just protect here to scout what he's going to do. Um, if we can catch him off guard and he actually goes for his explosion, which most of these things pack because of the refrigerate ability. Um, hey, great. So he mega evolves. I go for protect. He goes for freeze dry. So good thing we protected there. Um, looking at our team, our best choice is actually to go out. I think Ambipom can take a freeze dry. I'm going to go out to Ambipom and fake out because we can kind of do that with a little bit of impunity here because Registeel is... We take that Freeze Dry not as well as I would have hoped. We should outspeed here unless I'm reading something wrong and be able to get a fake out off. He might switch into the Registeel, which he does. Fake out does a good amount. Uh, Life Orb Recoil does kind of suck here, but I'm going to go ahead and try to knock off these leftovers. Um, we're probably going to take a Toxic here or a T-Wave. We did see Toxic revealed on this thing earlier, so I would not be surprised if he goes for something. If he goes for that again, we might see... I don't know, I think these the Reggies get Drain Punch. I know Reggie Rock does. We see Stealth Rock. Okay, he does... Notice that we are doing a ton of switching. Uh, the, you know, rightfully so goes for that. We're going to go for double hit uh, just to get some damage off. Um, we are going to go down to a seismic toss, which is totally fine with me. Um, because I can get a pretty free switch. And a Tyrantrum. Who, uh, I can just go for a head smash here. And that's going to hit everything on his team extremely hard. Oh, he lives on one and gets his Toxic off. Good for him. Good for him. We are Choice Scarfed into the Head Smash. Uh, so, 
He does have our Tyrantrum on a timer, but this thing is just going to do massive amounts of damage to our opponent's team. Um, which is really, really nice. Oh, he rocks the Protect. Okay, so we are going to take some more Toxic damage. He's going to try to play the Toxic Stall game with us here. Good for him. Getting more Toxic damage off on us. I would expect nothing less from a Reggie. So let's see what our opponent goes out to. He might go out into the Ambipom and try to f and fake us out. Um, he does go out to the Ambipom. I'm going to switch out my Amoongus or my Alamolola. I mean, the obvious switch here is the Ambipom because of fake out toxic damage. Yep, here it comes. Um, I'm going to go out to my LO Malola here uh, to catch the fake out, and then we'll get some life orb damage off on this thing. In comes the fake out, does 20%. Life orb does a good chunk to him. And I'm going to go ahead and launch off a wish because I think a U turn's coming in. Knock off to knock off our item. All right. So out goes the wish. And then we are going to catch the Wish, and there's not much this thing can do, so I'm going to launch a Scald. Uh, just to uh, get some chip damage off on this Ambipom. U-turn, so... This Ambipom is getting dangerously low on health. I would not be surprised to see the Glalie come back in. Um, in comes the Braviary to take... Do we get the burn? We do not get the burn, which is fine. Um, I'd be really interested to see what this thing can do. I'm actually just going to launch another wish. Almost just a scout, because I don't think this thing has the possibility of one-shotting us. And we still have a reliable recovery. Um, and as long as we can keep this Alamolola around, we keep the Ambipom in check and can kind of... Alright, he gets rid of rocks on both sides. Uh, we wish up, and I'm going to launch an Ice Beam, because I'm pretty sure the switch into the Ambipom is uh, incoming, and we still have our Rock Setter with um, Steelix around, which is nice. If we can get rid of this Braviary, we'll be golden. Because uh, Rocks will put him on a good switch switch timer here. We've got that Ambipom down to about 26%. I don't think the Flygon has come in yet. No, it did come in uh, and launched off an Earthquake, so we'll see. And I think... So we got Brave Bird here, he's going to take some recoil damage, and Life Orb, and that's going to bring him down. We catch a Wish, and I'm just going to go for a Scald, because Brave Bird, Brave Bird did a lot. Uh, so I'm actually going to cancel that, and go for a Wish. That's like probably the only time you're ever going to see me. We see Frustration come in, go down, we launch off a Wish, which is nice. Uh, so we are going to get our health back here at the end of the next turn. Uh, we're probably going to see the Ambipom come in here, maybe. I'd be very surprised since we revealed the Ice Beam earlier if that Flygon comes in. Um, Glalie might come in uh, to Freeze Dry. Ambipom comes in, okay. I'm going to go out to Tyrantrum to catch the Wish. Uh, as, as our opponent forfeits, okay. So... We, uh, we take that one with a 5-3 uh, win over our opponent here. That was pretty nice. Um, thank you guys for coming out and watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, make sure you click like um, down below if you did. That would really mean a lot. Comment. Uh, if you have any Pokemon or team suggestions I could use, I'd love to hear them from you. Uh, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time here. I'd love to love to see you subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description down below as well as uh, make sure you check out Psychic Type. He's the one who did the music for us. It's playing in the background and the link to his SoundCloud will be down there as well. So um, with all that good social media stuff out of the way and with all that being said, this is Palatown Smeargle signing out.